established is owned and run by Mark and Bridgine, who started it about, it's been about somewhere around four years ago. Let's go chat to Mark. I'm Mark, we're a star. Uh, here you go. All good. Cheers, man. Well, thank you very much for coming down. Yeah, for sure. Can you tell me why you started Established? For Bridgine and I, it was always a case of we'd worked in. We actually worked for, for the, well, in the first ever Starbucks in Northern Ireland, uh, in Ireland full stop, um, and that's where we met. You kind of dreamed of just having your own place sometime, and um, as the years gone past and began to get different experiences, um, one that stands out like going to Monmouth Coffee in London and like really enjoying the coffee and it being a totally different experience to maybe the kind of roastier kind of thing that you'd been used to with Starbucks. Um, you know, it's it's a love of people, a love of coffee, and a love of food, and, and bringing all that together, and just wanting to deliver that in in one experience that um, that you try and be the best in the world at. Do you still drink a Starbucks? I, I don't. No. <laughs> I, in an airport, I'll always go. I'll always try it. And uh, the, the top tip is always to go for a short. Okay. Uh, it's not on the menu, but it is there, so it's all a right. slightly okay. smaller coffee. There you go. That's um, so it helps. What is your favorite part? about running established. It comes down to people, um, that might sound cliche, but um, I think the way we've always seen it is that it, it's not about Britain and I, it's not about, you know, oh, just nerding out of a coffee all day long. Um, it's about creating relationships with people that come in, like it, it doesn't make sense. Like any, you could stand there and make coffee all day, but if you don't make relationships with people, you'll not have people to serve the coffee too. So they're the most important people. and. The people that work here are, are the people that deliver that experience day in, day out, um, yeah. like all day long, um, and it's phenomenal the job they do. So yeah. it's not just simply a two seventy and a coffee. It's you yeah. know, um, you know, something as simple as just a smile, and hello, or just yeah. you know what, Dylan. I can see that all you need today is your americano and no chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, like that's that's part of the skill and the experience as well. Um, and other days you just want plenty of chat, and yeah, yeah. you know we can. You can try and make time for that as well. That's so. cool. On, on the on the chat, this is a question that interests me. Yeah. What's the most asked question that you get here by customers, if there is one? Is there one? I think one of the biggest phrases you certainly get is like, because especially at the start for a long time, like we had to ask people like, oh, how do you normally take your coffee? Yeah. And the answer was always strong. Okay. Because um, <laughs> I think people feel like if I say strong, like that's how you're supposed to like coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and it was always like, I, I wasn't expecting that because um, it can mean lots of different things. So it was always like, that was like a big thing to try and decode that and try and break that down a little bit. And okay. in many ways, our coffees are strong because we keep a, a smaller serving, like so you're not diluting it with more milk or more water. You know, people kind of go, is that the size of your cup? And you're going, yeah, I'm only doing you out of milk or water. Um, I'm trying to give you more coffee. Okay. Um, that's and that's what the focus is. You know, I guess the other the other angle people think is, oh, create a smaller cup, cost you less. But it's yeah. like, no, you no. know, an extra 40, 50 mils of water isn't going to no. make a huge difference to us. So, you know, and uh, it's just it's literally about just the more water I put in there, the less coffee you're going to taste. So. Yeah, yeah. I just remember the first the first time I ever came in here. I remember looking at that board. Now it was the old board before you yeah, updated yeah, yeah. the board, and I remember walking in and just going, "How the hell do I order? What, do? what do I do here?" Yeah, yeah. Now, that was such a new experience. Yeah. But literally from that day I came in, I was like, "That, that's how coffee should be done." Like that is so. It's, it just creates an interest in the coffee, and then you have something to talk about with the guys there. And it starts as small talk, yeah. And then over the years, it's developed into like chatting about what they're doing on the weekend and what yeah. you're up to, and then they know exactly. things about you. So yeah. On a technical side. Where do you source your coffee from? The majority of our coffee will come from a roastery in Dublin called 3FE. Yeah. Um, so they started roasting just as we opened. Um, before that, they were wholesaling coffee by a roaster called Has Been Coffee here in Stafford in, in England. Okay. Um, uh, and then we bring in little guest roasters along the way as well. So at the minute, we've got coffee from a company called La Cabra, uh, who are based in our house in Denmark. Um, Last week we had Square Mile Coffee here in London. So your stock, your stock is three FE, and then you yeah. bring in like guest coffees like every couple of weeks, so That's things it. just change yeah. up. Yeah, um, and like we have a great relationship with three FE. Like, it's an easy thing to roast coffee, right? Like yeah. you can buy a roaster and turn green coffee brown, okay. um, but to do it well is exceptionally difficult. And not only to do it well, but you know to do all the logistics, you know, like just how it's all packed, that it's done on the right time. 
shipped on the right date, yeah, yeah. arrives in, in time, intact, you know, without any hassle. It's, you know, it's, there's so much skill and beauty in that. Like, I think that's one of the things that we've learned is to find beauty in the everyday because we're open seven days a week and yeah. that's a hard, hard that's grind, you know, it's, like, yeah. it's crazy. And like in, in, back in our, you know, opening couple of years and just there's little periods of time that come where, you know, Brazen are in here seven days a week and that's, you know, it's tough. You have to find beauty in that because, you know, there's people that come along and they just come up with one-off projects and whatever else and, and that seems really exciting and yeah, yeah. anything new that comes along, well, that is exciting because it's new. Um, but, you know, we're here all the time, every day and, and you just, you have to focus on finding the beauty in that and, you know, just in those little interactions yeah. with people. And it's, cha you. it's changed for me from going into Tesco and buying a bag of Illy. Yeah. A bag of tailors. Yeah. I said it all started by well, Kenko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's developed. But I think like, you guys, for me, changed coffee and how I think it's. So. And like, that, you know, that was that, that's such a big thing. Like, people always are like, oh, well, you, why do you want more people to drink coffee at home? Because surely you make more yeah. money if they come in and buy coffee. I'm like, yeah, but it's different. It's different. It's yeah. completely different. And you want to change. I think that's like one of our focuses is always just like, we just want to ruin people for bad coffee. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. that's it. Yeah, and like, there's so coffee. many great shops opening now as well. And, um, you know, right across the city, right across the country. Um, and that's really inspiring as well to yeah. see that kind of uh, take off. And the places that will, that will stay and stand at the test of time are the ones that focus on the quality. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and there's so many of them doing that. And, and in so many different ways, like, in, you know, there's people using. A, like a totally different kind of like a, a darker roast of a coffee or you know people who are roasting their own coffee or you know whatever like there's so many different approaches and and the beauty is that we have space for all that yeah, oh, yeah um, definitely and definitely. the more variety the better yeah no Love that's it. cool well look i appreciate you coming down thank You're you very welcome. much yeah cheers. a lot coming down appreciate you giving me time because you, be you're already here because you own the place <laughs> Cool, Mark. Thank you very much. Very welcome. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Cheers.